Hello and welcome. It's Eric Roberts. What is up with drummers and cymbals? How many cymbals should you have? I mean, should you have like 50 million cymbals around your drum set? Or should you just be like, have two or three cymbals, basic cymbals, drummers? Today we're talking about that. Look, I started playing drums when I was in eighth or ninth grade. Basically, my parents bought my brother my brother Brian a drum set it was a sunlight drum set and I was a guitar player so then I started playing the drums we would go play band practice and we'd switch around you know so uh, I've been a drummer probably as long as I've been a guitar player it's not I'm not like you know out there claiming I'm Mr. Drummer Man but uh, you know I can hold my own on the drum kit so whatever anyway if you're new to the channel it is Eric Roberts I'm here from Worship the King Studios in beautiful Nashville Tennessee although it is raining today I am a worship leader multi-instrumentalist, a producer, and a fellow obsessor. And today, I'm going to obsess on a video that my friend Paul cooks in, which I'm not sure why Paul's uh, Facebook page is P has like some different name in his name. Anyway, Paul's a Nashville drummer, session drummer, played with a lot of guys. I won't name all the names. I don't know all the names. I won't even assume that I know some of the names, but they're big guys. He plays with these uh, country guys, and he also plays with churches, plays with our church there at the church at Spring Hill. And uh, I haven't seen you in a while, Paul, but Paul will call me up, and he called me up the other day, and he gave me this thought, and, and he said, this is, the, this, is the, this is the podcast talk you should do. So now that I'm doing live chat talks almost every day, three or four times a day, I, I listened to your message today, Paul, and I said, well, I'm going to talk about it because you're absolutely right. And we, and, and I'm going to talk about drummers and cymbals, and why, why do worship drummers only have three cymbals? Now, I pulled up the Zildjian K Custom Worship Pack from Zildjian, and I guess they have a custom worship pack. I didn't know that. Uh, it's probably better than the symbols we have at our church. Right now, the symbols we have at our church are terrible. They're like they're like the starter pack, and that's fine. You know what? They were they're they're good enough, right, Paul? But Paul brings his own symbols when he plays, and I I even I'm not even really a you know a pro proclaimed you know like pro drummer. I bring my own symbols, okay, when I play at my church. Uh, and right now they're in the youth room. I'm thinking about bringing them down to the sanctuary because right now we are on loan a set of cymbals from one of our sound guys who also tours with, uh, does some touring with some bands. So he has some really nice cymbals. Okay, so he brought them in and he's, he's been working on our sound system some. And he put his cymbals on our drum kit and they're amazing. I think, the, I think it's like a 22 or 24 inch, uh, I don't know, it's really, really big uh, ride cymbal and a really big crash cymbal. They're about the same size. And so well, Paul Paul talked to me the other day, and he talked. we talked about this in length on the phone. Worship drummers, and he's right, they tend to have like three cymbals, maybe a ride, a crash, and a, and, and a hi-hat. And that's what I have uh, at our church. That's all we have. And I'm okay with that, but Paul's like, what's up with you guys? Why do you only have three cymbals? So when I typed in worship drum pack on, on YouTube, I pulled this up, and this is the K Custom Worship Pack, and I think this is three symbols. I don't know what this extra random symbol is off to the right, but there's a ride, there's a crash, they're about the same size, and there's a hi-hat, and that's it. Okay, I grew up in the 90s, y'all, when drummers were awesome. Drummers, like, dude, it was like, you're going to a gig as a drummer, you're going to have, like, the whole pickup truck's going to be full of your stuff. Who cares if the other guys ever get their gear to the, to the gig? Who cares? You got your stuff, you got your drum set, the whole van is full of symbols. I mean, the bigger the drum set, the better. Look at this. I mean, this is, I'm going to show you guys some drum sets. If you're listening to this on the podcast, just go to worshipthe.king.com and you can click on YouTube channel and you can, you can watch these videos. I'm going to show you some of these symbols. This is uh, what Paul is saying, guys, before I get too deep into just randomly talking about all these symbols and showing you these great ones. Symbols have different sizes, different thicknesses, different tones different timbre different ring they're, they're all different they're not it's not so the point is as a drummer you have four or five symbols because or six symbols or eight symbols because you want all these different tones because you you're not just going to bang on the crash symbol uh towards the end of the video somewhere i'm going to tell, tell you my biggest drummer pet peeve okay what what guys do on symbols i cannot stand and then that way you guys cannot do that if you ever play with me ever don't do it anyway I, I can't imagine anybody actually likes this this thing i'm gonna t i'll tell you at the end anyway so this is uh a lot of different sounds and and, and that's what i found in this video check this guy out he's got all of these symbols this is probably more like 
I was on the phone with Paul. I said, hey, Paul, what about splashes? Who has a splash? I haven't seen a splash symbol in a drum room at all, except some of these guys I watch on YouTube, a few of them, but they're obviously, uh, this guy has, look at this, 15, 16, 14, 13, 17 inch, a seven inch little bell thing, an eight inch bell thing, a 12 inch little splash thing, 19, 20 crash, 21 ride, a 17 something, I don't know. Uh, and then we had these big, uh, these big symbols that you put on the side, like, uh, I don't know what they call them. They're kind of gongy type symbols. Um, look at this guy. Okay. So this, this guy wasn't really playing. He was just tinking around on each symbol, but look how many symbols. There's like 15 symbols. Okay. That's now, now we're starting to get into a real, real drum set here. This, this is a baby drum set. I know I just offended half of you guys out there. That's funny. I'm just teasing with you. If that's what you like, that's fine. It's a little baby drum set. With two cymbals and a, and a hi hat, that's fine. That's fine. This is the man's drum set right here. Look at this guy. Now that is a man's drum set. That was like thirty or forty cymbals. <laughs> Who would want to travel with this? I don't know. But this is this is a man's drum set. I even got all the rasp because I'm getting over cold. So you you got you got the man's drum set. Look at this guy. Now this guy, I don't know that I'd really want to play with this guy. He's got a little. He's only got three drums. He's got like 30 symbols. Check the, and listen to what he's doing. <laughs> I think he's just doing that because, I mean, that's definitely not musical. He's just doing that because he, you know, he's showing you all his symbols. So if I had that many symbols, that's what I would do. I would just be like, <laughs> the whole day. I'll just be bang banging those symbols. Oh yeah. Ta 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 ta. Oh yeah. That's the reason why worship drummers, you should have more symbols because you can go ka 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 with all your and you have symbols, you just hit them. You can't do that with one crash symbol. You can't just go ga 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 on one symbol. It would just sound just it would just be obnoxious. But this would be cool. Well, how much fun would that be? All right. So if you guys have uh worship if you guys are worship drummers and you got like 30 symbols, text me in the in the chat. How many, how many symbols do you think uh is good enough. How many symbols do you think is enough? All right, go. Drummers, tell me what you think right there in the chat. If you're on the podcast, of course, just go on YouTube and get in on the fun if you're just listening to this on the podcast later. But if you're listening to me live, how many symbols do you think that we is enough? Look at that guy. He's got all of these symbols. It's amazing. Now, here's another guy. It's a little more chill. This is more artistic. He's got some big, big symbols. He's got some big. Two and a top hat. That's enough? Okay. I thought you wanted a bunch, Paul. Uh, so we got, this guy's got a big ride, a big, huge thing. Look at this thing. Listen, these sound good. Now I like the sound of this guy's cymbals. This guy's cymbals sound really good. They've uh, I like these big, like thinner cymbals. I don't like really heavy crashes. Back in the day, we used to have, I used to have like heavy crash. You know, I I really actually like more splashy, thin crashes, especially on stage. And this guy has these real big, look super paper thin. And back uh, when I was really playing a lot of rock drums, we'd, we would just break cymbals all the time. So I don't think that would have been a good cymbal to have like a really thin type crash. But okay, so four is enough. Two and a top hat is enough. Okay. Oh, that's Paul Jenkins. I thought I thought you were Cookson. Okay. I know if Paul Cookson watches this, he's going to say 15. I think 15 is enough. I mean, obviously, you can have two and a top hat. That's good. Paul, four, good. Uh, I think... I'll tell you what I think I would want. Let's listen to this guy. This this is a crazy amount of jazz. Uh, weird, weird. Some this is some weird jazz stuff. This guy's uh, crazy.
Yeah, this is cool. This is a drummer and veals hammer axe flat ride cymbals. Those cymbals are so thin, they're actually flexing. If you watch this video, go go to this, uh, go back to my YouTube channel and watch this. It they're flexing, they're so thin, they're just like they're they're just flexing when he hits them. That would not work for me or really any worship drummer. But uh, I like the big so so the cymbals we have at our church now are um a really really big it's like 24 inch ride or something and then there's like a 22 inch crash it's huge uh, but it sounds really good and so you hit it, it's like bah, you know it just has this nice tone and then we have a hi-hat you know a set of hi-hats i asked uh paul on the phone i said well, what about splash two crashes a ride a hi-hat that's good hey brent what's up my friend i'd say four two crashes brent is on our foundations he's one of our drum drum get teachers right on foundations go on to foundations and you can actually learn drums. I was going to save that to the end, but then Brent popped in. Hey, I say four. Two crashes, a ride, and a hi-hat. That was good. That would be enough, right? You could you could get pa-pa, you could da-da, right, left. Maybe, but make sure you got a really big crash over here and like a medium, thin crash over here. Then I like to have what I asked Paul about was who has a splash anymore? Nobody has a splash. I kind of like like a little splash, maybe a 12-inch or a 10-inch. I always had a splash symbol when I was younger. Uh, I, ha I don't have one now. I think I gave it away. I, we, we trade around our gear, some of my buddies, and I probably was like, oh, you can have that. I'm not using it. And now I'm like, oh, man, I want a splash. I want a splash. I'd say four, two crashes, a ride, a hi-hat, and that would be plenty for me, a little splash on the side or something. Uh, so, so you always played with, uh, let's see what he says, 18, 19, 20, Feet on the right side. Yeah, so a bigger crash over there by your ride. I don't remember the size of symbols we have now. I'll, I'll, I'll put them in later, but they're at our church. They sound so good. They're big. They're big and they're thin. They sound pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Twenty. I think it is a 24-inch ride. 24-inch ride, and it so, sounds so good. I've always liked a like an 18-inch ride or a 20-inch. 18, uh, like a really heavy ride with a nice bell because back, you know, when I used sticks, and you know, I like to ride on the bell. This big 24-inch thinner ride doesn't have like the nice bell ting. It doesn't really ting, ting, ting. But I don't think that's worship stuff anyway. I don't think anybody's going to be tinging on their bell. Like, but back in the day, you know, you could ride the bell and go, da, 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 da. You know, and it, it could pop through the mix. All right, so... That's 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 good. That's a good that's a good thing. I'll put Brent's comment here. I always played 18, 19, or 20 inch on the right side. So bigger ride, bigger crash symbol on the right. A bit put a big ride ride symbol in as big as you can find it. If you can find it, the bigger the better. And 14, 15, 16 on the left. And I would I would for worship at least for as a worship leader, I'd always prefer my drummers to have a thin crash, not a medium or or heavy. Now, if you're in the studio or if you're out gigging, you know, if you want to have, you might need a thick, a heavy, a heavy crash or even a heavy ride because you might be playing big venues. You might want this big thump sound. But when you're in a church, most church environments, they're like, how do we get the drums to be softer? That's all they talk about church. How to get the drums are too loud. So the best way to do it, a fast crash. Yeah, fast crash, thin like I don't know if they call them thin crashes. They call, may, I think they call them fast crashes. Yeah, like like so it just kind of it's thinner. It's not it's not so uh, it doesn't ring so long and it doesn't uh, do that. So Mapex here is a new color sound nine hundred symbol set. So if you're gonna audition for the worship drum position at our church someday, and you show up with this drum kit, you're in. Check this out. Look at all those symbols. Man, he's got hi hats on the right side. Did you ever do that? Tell me, did you guys ever put hi hats over on the right? So you could have like hi hat over there on the right. I, I did that a couple times. I had like a, I had a couple big kits. Back in the day, and I, I think I had at one point like a hi hat over on the right side, with a clutch that goes around to the left side. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know who these guys. I'm showing you all these guys. And I don't even really know who they are. But his drum set is huge. Oh 
oh yeah he's like da, 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 da. and he's playing all those little those are those are little those are little symbols those are little um he's got like three splash three little splashes right in the center of the kit that's so cool yeah yeah hear that bell on the ride Okay, I've just gone insane. That I've just gone insane, but I'm trying to I typed in big drum sets and that's what I found on YouTube, so there it is. We've gone from jazz to the insane. Uh I I would love to see more big kits coming into church. I there's some guys on YouTube that I watch that have some pretty big kits and they're, you know, they're you can tell they're not coming right out of the worship the worship drummer thing. So my big pet peeve on drummers and cymbals and none of the guys that I play with now do this, but I've had some some guys do do this. They get on the crash cymbal and it's like crash, crash, crash. They like think the crash cymbal's a ride cymbal. Crash, 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 crash. And I, I guess maybe, maybe, maybe that's a new thing. Is that a new technique? Uh, I'm not saying if you do that once in a while. I've had some drummers that that's all they ever do and it just drives me insanity. So don't just ride your ride cymbal like a crash cymbal or your crash cymbal. Don't ride your crash cymbal like a ride cymbal. Here's the Zildjian custom worship drum pack cymbal. Here's the Zildjian. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Listen to that ride. I wonder what that is, how big that one is. I'm going to look it up while he's playing. Well, it's got a nice bell to it. Zildjian K custom worship pack cymbal pack. It's a thousand bucks, man. Is that a good is that a good drum drum cymbal kit? Okay. This actually is... I'm going to go... I'll go through this because this has 14-inch Zildjian K Custom Dark Hi-Hats. It has 16-inch Zildjian K Custom Fast Crash. 16-inch Fast Crash. An 18-inch Custom Fast Crash. A 20-inch Custom Medium Ride. It's okay. If they could put a 24-inch, I'd buy that. But it's a thousand bucks. Yeah, riding a crash is how you open up a chorus or bridge for an even bigger sound. The other option is get the other option is get a big washy ride. Yeah, that's my op that's what I like. Um, I I tend to be playing a lot of ride cymbal. Uh, I've noticed in our church if you play the hi hat too much. It gets really splashy and it comes over top of the thing and just our pastor really ha kind of hates the uh, hi-hat because it's really loud so kind of tell our guys don't ride on the hi-hat so hard because it's really out there but riding the crash yeah open up a chorus or bring a bridge yeah if you got the right crash even a bigger sound if you're in a big venue i know probably did you do that brent did you ride on your crash symbol i've seen you do that some you know you can do it some but like you're in a small venue. You got like one crash symbol and you're just on that thing. That is not good. You got to use it like Brent is saying. I'm okay with the musical use of that technique. Here you come, big, big thing. Sometimes you want more from the drums. You've got to feel more. You, 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 maybe that's why some guys will ride their hi hats open. That's another thing, or they'll you know ride their crash symbol for a chorus, for a chorus, or to ride, or to bring in the build and make it big. You want that big wall of sound for a moment, but you've got to be a, a dynamic drummer if you're going to be doing that. Some people, that, some drummers, if you're just playing the drums, I lost my mouse. If you're just playing the drums, um, playing the crash symbol like a crazy person, then that's going to annoy me at least. Uh, riding the crash, so so use it, use it if you're going to use it. Bring it into a bridge and, you know, at the biggest part of the song and then get off of it and then go back to the dynamics. The other option is to get a big washy ride, which I like because I feel like when I'm playing at my church now, we got that big giant ride. It is kind of a washy ride. You can kind of fill up the tone. You can use the bell a little bit. It's not real tingy and and it can just kind of be there. It kind of creates more, more um, you know, tone. More, It fills up more space. Sometimes I feel like when you're on your hi-hat closed, and it's it just kind of everything's too tight and there's no openness now. So anyway, all right. So I'm thinking we've got some real, pretty good uh, we got some good drummers in here giving us some good ideas here. So I would say open up your mind. That's what Paul told me. He was just saying now obviously you're not going to have 36 symbols like I'm showing you in this video. That's hilarious and you know it just is obnoxious and fun. 
Okay, that's that. It's obnoxious. It's fun. I would totally do that, but you're not gonna. I'm not even sure that worship leaders. What would a worship leader do if you showed up with this kit? That's what I think you should do. Audition for the drum position. Go and be like, yeah, I'm gonna be the drummer, and be like, hey, I'm gonna use my kit this week, and then just show up with 37 cymbals, and just you know, like, I, I just think this would this would be a good. Uh, I don't know what I would do honestly if I was leading my worship team and and they just some guy shows up with this i would just it would be like a blast from the past for me but i don't know what i would do i'd probably just be annoyed at the 37 symbols uh i don't i don't know it's fun to think about though but uh i do like this jazz drummer he he's got all these crazy symbols but he's got a lot of big washy that's a good word brent he's got a lot of big washy symbols and they sound good so all right the initial thing is how many symbols is enough and worship drummers come out of your shell. Don't think that you can just don't think that you just only can have, you know, what drum I feel like what drums have done. I don't want to get too far into this, but I feel like what drummers have done in the modern worship movement right now. I'm talking about right now. The last 5 or 10 years. They've thrown off their tom. So now there's only they're only playing kits with one ride tom and a floor tom. Some guys get brave put two floor toms, which I like, but I'm not that's cool. I think the drum kit over there at the Springboro campus had two floors, which sounded really good. I like the double floor tom. But why? what's wrong with two ride toms or three ride toms? I know that I grew up playing at least a five-piece kit. I would like a seven-piece better. But I feel like the worship genre has gone to this, and it, and it probably happened over the last 20 years, if you think about it. I know some of the drummers I played with back 15, 20 years ago were dropping their ride toms for these small snare tom tom kit snare tom tom now the problem with that is is i grew up playing five piece so all of my fills and all my feels are in are more ride tom fills and i can you know maybe that's not as cool but i i hope that we can open it back up i hope that it comes back because these little tiny drum kits with with three cymbals and three drums they're cool i'm not saying you can't play with that i'm not saying you can't do that but as a drummer i would be venturing out to bigger kits i like more tones more ideas more options I might only play a tom or two here, but if I had four or five, maybe I have a song that I want to come in with a... You know, you can't do that with, with these small kits that don't even have any tonal range in their tom sets. They have two toms, that's it. Two cymbals, hi-hat, that's it. And if you're a good drummer, yeah, I don't care. Have a snare and a bass drum and a hi-hat. I've seen guys killing it with that. Snare... Bass drum, hi hat, they're killing it. So, you know, I've seen guys killing it with a bucket and two sticks and a trash can lid. So that's not the point. The point isn't that you have to have more drums to be good. Uh, you got you got to be good. But in terms of tonal quality, options, fun. I mean, how many how many pedals do you need to be a, a worship guitar player? How many pedals do you need to be a good guitar player? Zero. You know what I mean? So how many pedals do most worship guitar, electric guitar players have? Like 30. They got pedal boards that are like taking up the whole front of the stage. You know, I'll tell you, when I was in Herman's Do, Herman's Do, that's for you, Brent. Uh, back in the day, I was in Herman's Do. I had zero pedals, zero. We toured all over. We played. We did shows all the time. We had records. I had zero pedals. I don't think I even had, all I had was a little pedal that attached to my amp that turned it from clean to dirty. That was it. And I have all kinds of stuff. I, did, I played lead and rhythm in that band. I was the only guitar player, zero pedals. Guys, what I was talking about with Paul today, which is the whole point of this video, you don't need you know 30 cymbals, but what's wrong with having some cymbals? You don't need 30 guitar pedals. What's wrong with having a couple pedals? Nothing. Musicianship is really the key. When I was back playing my rock days, I had zero pedals. I had loud, clean, and loud distorted. Everything else was all volume knob or chord shapes or something. It was musical musicianship creating a tone. So if you think that you can buy uh, a great cymbal pack and like a $3,000 drum kit and then you're a drummer, that's it. That's wrong. If you think you can buy a $3,000 pedal board and then you'll be the worship guitar player that you always wished you could be, wrong. If you can't make your guitar sound pretty good with like no pedals or one pedal, 
and just really be a good player, then it doesn't matter how many pedals you got on the floor. Same with drums. So I guess my my whole point was don't just go out and buy a whole bunch of drum cymbals just because you can, and don't feel bad if you only have two cymbals, you know. Uh, but Paul was talking to me in the very beginning. Worship drummers, open your minds to the possibility of the different tones and the different uses of all of the different symbols that are available to you and stop putting yourself into this basic, this is my worship drum kit. This is what Elevation plays. This is what I'm going to play. This is what Hillsong guy uses because I've seen them come on stage with a three-piece kit and two cymbals and play their whole show and it's amazing. It's fine. That doesn't mean that that's the way that you should do it. Um, but if you want to do it that way, go ahead. Because I'm not going to tell you what to do. All right, so that's it for today's Live Talk. Paul, that goes out to you. Brent, thanks for coming into the uh, show today. Um, I actually have the ability now to do uh, to bring you in on video as a guest. It works extremely well, not just on Facebook, but we're streaming to six platforms. And I can bring you in right here on my screen as a guest by sending you a simple link. That would only be for uh, people like Brent, special awesome people. Last uh, Yesterday we had... Uh, Caleb Bales on talking about mixing. Brent, I'd love to have you on. We can talk about this drum stuff uh, more. I'm finally there, Brent. We talked about this a year, a year and a half ago when we did the drum foundations, uh, and I'm ready. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I think I can actually do it. So uh, it's taken a lot of work to get here, and um, but you can come on the channel with you, with your uh, face, with your pretty face, and talk and tell people everything you want to tell them about the Bible about the drums and uh anyway brent is one of our teachers on um on the foundations go on to the worship the king.com or worship builder.com and click out on the drum foundations because brent was with me and it is really uh the foundational method of how to play beats how to play fills how to you know um we did some stuff like 10 tips for drummers things like that but it's all right here on worship band builder and if you click right here i don't know if you'll see brent on there on this i'm pre pretty sure there's a video of him it's phenomenal we had, i had a great time making these videos and there's you can actually get drums and bass and there's brent and there's the set that uh, that we used and it was pretty awesome you can learn how to do tom fills you can learn how to um do basic drum beats play to a click track all of that stuff is in this foundation set for the, and you can get everything now as a, as a premium member or you can just buy the bundle for your church all right guys i will see you on the next live video god bless you have a great day